What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a haul or a what I got for my birthday video. Um, but apologies in advance because I'm trying to rush through this because my camera is looking like it's going to die soon and I can't find my charger anywhere. So this is going to be the world's quickest haul video. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to start with the stuff that I got for my birthday. So for most people I asked for money because Jake and I went to London for the weekend um, because I wanted to buy some cool stuff um, and because it was like a special birthday I wanted to go and celebrate like going away for the weekend so yes, but some people still got me like little bits of presents and stuff. So to start off with I'll show the stuff that my mum and my sister got me. I've got this really cute little key ring that says 21 in green, green's my favourite colour. So that is super, super cute. They also got me this 21st birthday candle. So it's a, oh, a white candle with 21 on it. And the scent is white vanilla, which is one of my favorites. It just smells so good. I love scented candles. I have them all around the bath when I have a bath. So that's so nice. And the last thing they got me was this unicorn fund money box, which is just the cutest thing ever. Um, it has a certain name, I don't know, there, there's like a brand of these, I can't remember what it's called. And if you fill this with £2 coins, then you will eventually have £1,000. So, I'm on my way, I've got one in there, <laughs> so eventually I will be rich. Um, so those were just like the little bits they got me for something to open, so the rest of it was birthday money. The other bits I got, I got a couple of things from Jake's mum, which was really, really nice of her to send down. So I got two of these metallic -y champagne flutes, I'm really sorry about the reflectiveness. Um, so I can drink my Prosecco out of these rainbow glasses and she also got me two wine glasses in the same metallic style, which is just amazing. Uh, whenever she comes down or I go up, we always share wine, so it's very, very cute. She also got me, these are amazing, unicorn fruit loops. How amazing are these? Oh, I just love unicorns and rainbows, it's so cute! So she got me two packets of those, so Jake and I have been munching on those. We also sent down a kitty cat umbrella, which is really really cute. I only have one massive umbrella that doesn't fit in my bag, so this is super super useful. I can just pop it in. I haven't used it yet because it hasn't rained since she bought it. Can you believe it? But yeah, super cute. The next thing I got was from Jake and his mum and her boyfriend and his nan and they all chipped in together to get Marilyn Manson tickets. I cannot believe it. So the tickets came out to see Manson quite a while ago and it was when we were moving house and I literally could not afford to waste any money on anything because everything was going into the house and the furniture and everything like that. So I was really, really gutted. So Jake managed to get two tickets for Manson um, through like a repurchasing scheme, I don't know what it is, I think it's called Get Me In, something like that. Um, so he managed to get two, so uh, I think it's in two weeks time, maybe three weeks time, I'm going to go and see Manson and I cannot wait. This is the first time I'm ever going to see him, so I just, I want to cry. The other things Jake got me, got me this super cute card, it's a mermaid card, and it's got these sprinkly, glittery sequin things in there, it's so adorable, I just had to show that because it's so cute. He also got me this ring, uh, the brand is like Alchemy England or something, um, I think he got it through EMP but I also don't know how much it was because it's a present, it really reminds me of King for a Day from Pierce the Veil, it's got like the red which is like their logo and then it's got like a little crown on top and it's got spooky hands, I don't know, I love it. And then he also got me this dress which is mesh at the top and then it comes down and it's got these big white cuffs. Um, and then it's got a like pinafore style dress fitted over the top and this is from the brand Jawbreaker and again he got it through EMP. So the next things I'm going to show you are things that I bought in London when I was away for the weekend. So the first place I went to was Spitalfield Taxidermy which I've seen on Instagram, I'll link them below for you because they're really really cool. If you're in the UK and you see anything on their website or on their Instagram, you can message them, you can send them money through PayPal and they'll ship it to you, which is really, really good. You don't even have to go to London to see it. Um, yeah, and I bought some really cool stuff. 
so I saw they had loads and loads of prints and I picked these two there's one of like the inside of an old church and then there's this random couple just sat together I don't know why I just thought it was really cool and he popped those in the bag for me for free I got this which is some cards from a guy's funeral which was in 1932 which is really really cool so it's just like the little cards you'd have at the funeral I thought that was really really cool to just have a lot of this stuff when I've showed people they've been like why, why would you want to own that I just love this type of thing I just love anything that's like old and creepy and weird so then I have this print of a child just a really old one it's not dated but again I just think it's really cool and really creepy and then I have this print here, which is Memento Mori. So it's Victorian and it's how uh, people would remember the dead. So they would photograph the dead and then keep it. And I just, I am obsessed with Memento Mori, as hopefully you guys would know. But yeah, I love it. Um, those last few bits I showed were either like two or three pounds each. I then got a broken doll's head. She cost five pounds and she's still got little like tufts of hair sticking up. Um, she's got a couple of bits of hair left and yeah I just thought that was really really cool so yeah I'm like mad obsessed with old creepy dolls and I'm just going to be covering my whole wall in old dolls and weird pictures and stuff like that as soon as I resign my tenancy so look forward for that then I've got these two bits here so these are what they use to mould um, people's like replacement teeth on I just thought they were so cool and just so weird and those were two pound each really really love that again they will be going on my wall then the last thing I got this is the first piece of taxidermy I've ever bought and I'm really really excited it's this gorgeous little duckling uh, it's so soft and so fluffy it's so so cute my mum was like too scared to touch it she just about touched it and pulled her hand away my younger sister couldn't even look at her but I think she's so gorgeous she was £25 and I am obsessed it's so pretty but she's staying in the bag right on the top shelf until I can sort out my wall and get like a little shelf for her because otherwise I'm sure Pumpkin would love to attack so she's staying hidden and she doesn't have a name so if you have a suggestion for a name please pop it down below because she's so adorable that she needs a name right so that is everything from there then um, the only other places I bought stuff was we went to Oxford Street on the last day and I picked up a couple of bits so I went to Nick's because I don't have a Nick stand near me in Southampton um, and I picked up a single, it's a prismatic shadow in the shade Fireball. Um, so it looks like this, so it's one of the ones you can pop in the refill palettes. I was aiming on getting a whole palette, but on swatching them, none of them were really that pigmented and I didn't want to waste money on shadows that weren't. Um, this was the only one that really, really stood out to me. Um, and that was 4 50 and it's a really, really good eyeshadow. So I'm probably just going to get the Z palette and fill the rest with like Morphe shadows or something like that. Or makeup geek if it's cruelty free which I'm not sure if it is so I'd have to have a look I then got a refill contour shade um, again from NYX and this is in the shade 7 which is called sculpt so it's just like a cool tone brown which looks like this and it's swatched on there so it's like the type of contour that I like I haven't tried this out so I can't tell you how well it works but um, the only other contour shade I'd been using before that was really muddy, so I wanted something that's a bit nicer. The last thing I picked up from NYX is a makeup brush, and again, I haven't tried it yet. It is the NYX Professional Makeup Brush, and it is number 15, and so basically it's just a small little uh, fluffy brush, which is really good for blending out your lower lash line, and I don't have any brushes like this, so that's why I picked this up. I believe it cost £9 and if I like it I'm definitely going to get more but the looks of the brushes and the feel of them seems really really good so I'm hopefully going to love it and pick up some more. Next place I went was Forever 21. We don't have one of these near me and I was not sure of the sizing so I can't order online or anything but now I know what sizes I am. So I picked up two pairs of trousers. So I've got this first pair is like a legging type material and it's got cutouts there just on the knee 
and then more cutouts on the calf and they are really really dirty because I wore these to work um, they do need a wash so excuse that um, but their sizes are quite small so I'm usually an 8 or a 10 on the bottom half and I had to get a medium because I couldn't fit these up around my bum <coughs> so maybe size up in the bottoms um, and then I got another pair of trousers and these are, they're kind of like jeans, but they're softer than denim, they're a bit stretchier. Um, and it's got like an elastic waistband. And then this one's got a big rip on the knee. And then this side just has smaller little rips along. Um, these were £25 and the last pair were £20. And I just needed something that, like I hate jeans, I can't stand jeans. And I'm not really a big fan of like leggings, so I wanted to get something that still looked nice but was just a bit warmer than tights. So that's why I picked those up and I'm really, really happy with them. The last two things I've got were from Kat Von D, obviously. My favourite place in the whole world is the Kat Von D stand in London. Um, so I first of all picked up the Shade and Light Eye Palette. Um, as most of you know, I've been wanting this for so long, but um, the first time I went to get it, I bailed because I was like, I don't need neutral eyeshadows. Second time I went to buy it, it was gone online. Then Jake went to buy it for me, but he ended up buying pumpkin instead. And then I went back to get it and it was gone again. And so when I went in store, they had it, which I was so happy about. So you've all seen this palette a million, million times, um, which is so gorgeous. I'm so happy to have it. And this shade here, I think it's called Lazarus, is an amazing contour shade. I have it on now. I'm obsessed. So yeah, really, really cool, really happy with it. Glad to finally have it. That was £37. The last thing I got, which I'm incredibly happy about, is the Pastel Goth palette. I cannot believe I own this. I've been wanting it for so long and it's sold out everywhere. It was limited edition, that's it, it was gone and they had three left in store. So I picked it up, it looks like this. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I cannot contain my excitement. I was literally like screaming in the shop. I'm so happy I finally have this, and I think it was 32 pounds. So that is everything I got for my 21st birthday. I'm so sorry I'm rushing through it, but my camera is gonna die any second. I'm not even entirely sure if it's still recording. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below what the coolest was, the coolest thing was that you saw. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my video and come back for some more content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!